Believe me, the weatherman, he's not that flash today, I've got to be honest with you, 16 degrees, uh, but I still think we can do better, I'm saying 20 degrees easily today. It's Wednesday, middle of the week, October 26, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and i got to welcome along everybody that's watching us right now on Facebook Live. So very, very happy to have you. Uh, if you're here for the first time, well, i tell you what. Uh, welcome. Believe me, it is an absolute pleasure. If you're going to watch a little later on over there on YouTube, it's going to be around until the dinosaurs come back, as you know, uh, do this. Sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. Uh, bell notifications when we have important people, much like Chuck Feltner, and of course Georgie is joining us, of course Chuck coming out of uh, Nashville, and Georgie is coming out of New York, he's one of my favourite New Yorkians, he really is, uh, from the band Dirty Lover, yeah, absolutely, looking forward to getting this one underway, uh, but first of all, let me do this. Another indie artist of you. By Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and Sony Music to watch it. Absolutely elated to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, Sony Music, The Orchard, here with Galaxy. And today, yes, we're joined by the voice, Dirty Lover. Uh, let's get it underway. Are you working tonight? Hello. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah, man. Sounds good. Nice, nice. Uh, Pamela is online. Nice to have Pam Pamela Toza Harbottle online. Dallas Moore is joining us. Roxanne's joining us. Barney, hello, sweetheart. Nice to have Papua New Guinea online. It really, really is. Taylor Ruffer is watching. Tony, uh, Tony Elizabeth. Hey, hey sweetheart. Hey. Nice to Hi, have you. How's gear? Uh, Hi, Don Carlos. Don Carlos is joining us Hi, as well. Hi, Mr. Wolfgang. Uh, wow, yes, absolutely. Wolfgang de Brett is watching. Oh, and Terry, Mr. Pumpkinhead. Terry, <laughs> <laughs> Terry B. Cannon is joining us. Uh, you guys must be coming up close to um, Halloween very shortly. Can, can Hi, Jay. Sean Simpson as well. It is a packed house tonight. And Hi, Sean. Absolute pleasure to have you guys on board. Guys, welcome back to Galaxy. Hey, we're glad to be back. Thanks for having us. Oh, believe me, you're absolute favourites of mine anyway, so it's not a chore. Yeah, yeah, no, Georgie, what are you doing? I am trying to put on another social media and make it live so they can enjoy this interview with you guys. Okay, well, you know, I feel sorry for those. <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry for them too. Jay's joining us as well. Nice to have Jay. Hello, brother man. Uh, Got to get ready for Christmas, huh? A little forethought. We might have to do a Chrissy thing, you know? Just thinking about it. <laughs> Jay is with uh, Lazy Indie Magazine. Oh, cool. What's up, Jay? And uh, believe me, a wonderful man, wonderful, wonderful man. And he's doing a concert very, very shortly with uh, a number of Galaxy artists as well over there. Mm, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm jealous I want to be there. <laughs> Good on, Jenny. I think they're already doing that. I want to be the photographer. You want to be the photographer? Yeah. Yeah. Mate. Go on the cool shows. Yeah, believe me. Believe me. Lots of fun. Uh, speaking of fun, let's go for it. We've got about a minute to go.
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today very, very important guest joining us in the house is Dirty Lover. Of course, we're talking about Chuck Feltner and of course Georgie Freddie's joining us. I love the hat too, by the way, Georgie. Welcome back Hello. to Galaxy. What's up? What's going on, Galaxy? How are you? Thank you for having us again. It is it's an a pleasure. It's been an honor. It is an absolute pleasure to see you as well, Georgie. It really, really is. You're one of my favourite New Yorkians, I've got to be honest. And, of course, Chuck. Uh, well, Chuck, I've got a question for you. And believe me, I was rather uh, stumped this morning when this was presented to me. Uh, the lady who uh, does my wardrobe came to me and says, Here, wear this. It happened to be a Wolves T-shirt. Oh, really? Yeah, it was. You know, And I looked at her and I went... Um, no, I don't think so, to be honest. What do I do with it? Do I continue wearing it and promoting the walls, you know, or should I um, just, well, maybe frame it somewhere? I think if you like the shirt, wear it. I do like it. I do, that's the problem. Make sure you cut the sleeves off. <laughs> no, that's a good idea. Yeah, I like it. Oh, no, actually, I don't want to mutilate it because it is uh, quite a, an awesome shirt, I've got to be honest. And I like the logo as well. I got, you know, that's really, really cool. Uh, well, yeah. You're not going to be mean, uh, You're not going to destroy it. No. You're just going to make it a bit punk. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I get your lingo. I do. Uh, Lisa Saunders is joining us as well. And Karen Avila. Nice to have Karen on board as well. Now, uh, speaking of shirts and logos and everything, have we got a duty level one yet? Yeah. So we just got our website up and running with all the merch on it. So we're about to, uh, we need your guys' address because we're about to send you some stuff. You know, uh, to be quite honest, you preempted me on that, Chuck. You really, really did. Uh, but a young lady, uh, she's coming out of Clearwater Beach in Florida. Her name is Phyllis. She's saying, um, how do we get in touch with you guys? We've done this before, but let's refresh everybody's memory. Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talk app? But do you respond? Yeah, always. ASAP. I mean, if you message us and you want to talk to us, we respond. We run all of our accounts. We work very hard on all of our accounts. And, uh, yeah, it's just that Dirty Lover Band. Usually it's, like, at uh, the at symbol Dirty Lover Band, and then you'll be able to find us or just DirtyLoverBand.com. Yeah, don't be a doubt. I'm useless at this sort of thing, especially if it's a hashtag thing. Yeah, I get as far as the hashtag and go, now what do I do? You know what I mean? Yeah, so if it's... It's a, so hashtags typically are used for like finding certain artists. So like we'll do hashtag Dirty Lover Band. So if you do a hashtag like that, it will come up with our material and you'll be able to find us for sure. Very, very cool. Gabe Miranda's joining us, coming out of Norway as well. Uh, thank you, Tones. Uh, love both of you. I really, really do. And uh, heard the concert was an absolute K.A. It was a kick. Yeah, donkey. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And I hope we can get something happening with all of you guys, including Tim and Jorg and everybody else down here in New Zealand. Looking forward to uh, talking about that in the near future. Uh, now, at the same time, guys, we opened up the show with Are You Working Tonight? We released this not so long ago. But let's refresh everybody's yeah. memory. Tell us all about this track. George, you go ahead. If you want to throw it, you want me to go for it? Go for it. This song, um, Are You Working Tonight, was at a moment in my life when I was a little boy, a young man where, in my community, it's not, no, nobody roots for you if you're trying to be a musician, so Are You Working Tonight was like a fuck you. Excuse my language. Um, but Chuck, I, ne I was never, I, I created such a great verse that I could not get the next parts, and... 25 years later, working with Chuck, he introduced me to some incredible live music and inspired me to play that song. And I, I was just playing that song next to Chuck while he was in the middle of mixing something we were just finished working on. He literally turned around, eyes popped open. He's like, we're doing this. And uh, we have Are You Working Tonight because of uh, Dirty Lover. Yeah, yeah. I had it as a kid. Chuck completed it. And it's pretty badass. Yeah, you know something, and I've got to be honest with you, you've nailed it right there. Uh, believe me, Chuck is an absolute genius. 
uh, at what he does. But I've got to be honest, let's take nothing away from your talents as well, Georgie. Believe me, I, I think you're an incredible songwriter. I really, really do. Uh, and together, I think you make that uh, mystique of lover. You know what I mean? Uh, and believe me, I, I think it is an absolute blinder here at Galaxy. We get so many requests for Dirty Lover, it is ridiculous. So I want to know, are you going to continue doing what you're doing? Well, every, every three I, months. Yeah. I just I just learned, uh, Chuck sent me this um, link to... A, Chuck, what's the guy's name? Rick Rubin. Sorry? Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin. And Rick Rubin makes a great point. A lot of artists, they, I did this, you did that, here's my value, there's your value. And Chuck and I, we don't, we don't work that way. We collaborate. And when you collaborate, you give your soul and your heart. No, ma uh, no matter how small or how big it is, as long as it's everything, with what you're giving, that's, that's how we put things together. And um, I had a piece, he had a piece. We created another piece together, and that's just how things work. You know, and it's a really healthy way to do things, you know? It, we have no ego. We just collaborate. I, I love that. I really, really do. And these days, especially with the magic of internet, it makes these things just that little bit more easy, if you know what I mean. So believe me, absolutely yeah. love, love, love your work. Really do. Uh, now, yeah, having, so having said that, uh, we have played Johnny's Mission a few times, and... Uh, well, we haven't said a lot to a lot of people. Just tipping, you know, as we do, put toe in the water, see how it runs, and see what people think of it. Uh, yeah. Johnny's mission is something I think that they're, they're starting to connect with, uh, if, if I could use that kind of term, because believe me, there is a lot of people wanting to know more about it. And believe me, I think that's an absolute brilliant platform to be able to say, well, guys, Tell us about Johnny's Mission. Yeah, so Johnny's Mission is just a straight up rock and roll song from the beginning to the end. It's about a rogue spaceship uh, thief uh, called Johnny, and he has stolen the last spaceship that's, that the whole universe basically could, uh, or the whole civilization uh, needs to escape this planet that they're going to die on. So we finally caught Johnny, we're interrogating him, and he's trying to get let loose, and nobody's like, "No, you're not, you're not escaping nothing." So it really is just this story about this guy named Johnny that everybody wants to get a hold of, and they finally got him, and he's trying to get away. I love that. I love that. Uh, but Chuck, lay off the shrooms, okay, bro? What? Yeah. <laughs> here it is, right here at Galaxy Daddy Lover and Johnny's Mission. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, by the way, and I really mean this for real, in the news this morning, what's happening in our skies, major UFO inquiry underway by NASA. Over yeah. over our skies here in New Zealand, it's like what? Hey, eh? seriously? Oh yeah. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, believe me, bro. I will um, invite them out for dinner. <laughs> I would too. Yeah, I, I would I, too. I've often wondered what they would taste like. But, <laughs> well, I think they uh, If we can't see them and they're there, they'll eat you before we'll eat them. <laughs> well, this is true. This is true. Joe, well, all due respect to these. Aliens that are way farther, way more advanced than us. We must have some capability of providing some interest for them to keep on coming and checking us out. I think we're... is the interest us, you know, blowing up nuclear bombs? Because uh, when a nuclear bomb goes off, it doesn't just affect Earth; it goes out into space and it affects the universe. Absolutely. Um, I, I here's something I was watching the other. Day actually, there's um, billions and billions and billions of planets and universes around, and um, they've been around up, since day one. Whereas we're only a few million years old, if you know what I mean. So we're relatively new kids on the block, Shit. and these guys have been out there looking around these universes for so many years. It's not funny, yeah. <laughs> literally. Uh, 
maybe we're an experiment of, you know, what they did way back then and they've recreated us again to see how and what maybe they went wrong and uh, where maybe we're finding out that we are going wrong. You never know. Well, yeah, we just don't know. We don't know anything. That's the problem. No, I, I wouldn't say that. Hey, we could be in a Petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, here at Galaxy 107 FM, and uh, well, I've forgotten there was a place in the South Island here in New Zealand called Inchbonny. Uh, but Tracy, coming from Inchbonny, is saying, Guys, are you thinking of doing a tour? Can we see you here in New Zealand anytime soon? She's very interested in this, and so am I. You're gonna have to talk to uh, the guy in the current call records, he'll set it up with you. That's a hell of an idea, literally. And we want to give a shout out to Curtin Hall Records as well. Yeah. These guys do such a great job, and believe me, we get so many artists from these guys. It is an absolutely awesome. fantastic uh, job that they do. So uh, well done. We work with uh, John and Gigi, and they are absolutely incredible workers, human beings. They are very insightful, very smart, and we would not have gotten this far without them. Well, I tell you what. Uh, for me, Georgie, next time you see John and Gigi, give them both a poke in the eye for me and say it's from Galaxy, right? Well, do yeah. well, That poke is a pleasure, pleasure uh, as long as there's a little pleasure behind it. You oh, know you, what you, you've got to get the squishy bit. That's the pleasure. <laughs> yeah, don't let them close their eye. Come on. <laughs> you've got to get it at the right time. Good thumb to the eye. Yeah. 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 Uh, give a palm. Uh, believe me, there's nothing more uh, friendly than a good poke to the eye, mate. Nah, as long as you're doing the poking. Yeah, there's a little fear, then there was a little meaning to it, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's all done with love from us here in New Zealand. Absolutely. <laughs> Kate and Cool Records, watch out! <laughs> One of the galaxy traditions is coming your way. <laughs> I love it, I really, really do. Uh, so, guys. You get thumb in the eye, huh? Yeah. <laughs> let me know. Uh, is there anything new on the horizon? I know that we're releasing Johnny's Mission today, but is there, you know, a little something, something in the secret closet? Oh, uh, there's there's a lot in the secret. It's more like a secret garden, let's put it that way. And uh, we've got a lot of stuff cooking. I mean, we're every three months we're going to be putting out a new single. So in two months, we'll have another one for you. And it's, we're probably going to be slowing it down a little bit. We have this beautiful... Uh, it's just a ballad, but it's like a rock ballad, really. It's a, I don't even want to tell you what it's called, but it's going to be completely different than what we just put out, and it'll show the other side of who we are and what we like to write. You know, that really excites me, Chuck. It really, really does. Now, there's only one other thing that's on my mind is, well, we're not going to see you uh, until next year. Yeah. So we're just hunkering down, trying to finish this album. We've we started to play some shows, so we just played a show in Nashville at Whiskey Jam. We've got another one booked for December. Uh, so we're getting our feet wet. We're going to be playing some shows up in New York City. I want to do some private events. Uh, try to do some like MTV unplugged style events where we get all of our friends together and film it and do some cool, unique shows. We just don't want to hit the pavement like everybody else does. Make every show special. Well, I hope you're going to send me some bird. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to be, you know, to at least feel a part of it by watching what you're doing. I really, really would, Tracker. Uh, now, yeah. at the same time, Georgie, Christmas in New York. Fantastic time. It's amazing. I love all the lights. Every major neighborhood. I, I, I live in Harlem. So Harlem puts these lights all, all across 125th Street, 
Forty Second Street. It's it's it, it's it's better when there's snow everywhere. Let's be real, but unfortunately, uh, we haven't had a lot of snow. Well, you know, icing sugar goes a long way sometimes as well. Maybe a bit of crushed flour. You never know. Uh, but believe me. I love, love, love New York in the winter time, especially at Christmas. I've been there, and uh, uh, just the way the festivities are held are fantastic. Everybody's, you know, the same kind of people in the same place at the same time in New York, which you know basically never happens unless it's Christmas. Yeah, that's when the crazies come out, though. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll yeah. see you one Christmas. I know that you know they came out. Oh, well, this year it's going to be uh, an interesting year in New York City because there are like over a hundred thousand homeless and like psychological disordered people are all over the city. So you know, I'm used to like you see like a crazy person on the train here and there every now and then. Now it's every time you take the subway, there's something weird going on. So there's there's some craziness going on in New York City, and I look forward to uh, I look forward to seeing where that leads. <laughs> well, uh, I've always been told that if you want to go and see a natural New Yorker in its home state, go to Times Square. <laughs> there's, probably, there's probably no New Yorkers in Times Square. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly, exactly. right. Uh, but I it's like going to Nashville and going down on Broadway. There is nobody that lives in Nashville that's down on Broadway. Exactly, exactly. I actually don't meet too many uh, born and raised New Yorkers as of late. Really? Okay. Too too many foreigners coming around. Well, I don't know. New York City is in a transition right now. Uh-huh. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, and the, let's just say the rock and roll scene, it's uh, it's on its newest evolution. And it's going to pour all over the city all over again. Right now it's in little pockets. And I have no interest in playing in little pockets. I like the main pocket. And I'm waiting for the main pocket to just fill up and get back to where it belongs. I understand that, Georgie. I know exactly what you're saying. Jackie on Cat is joining us, and Sean Simpson says, you guys rock. Uh, yes, they do. Absolutely, they do. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, we are going to have to wrap it up here. And I've got to say, happy Christmas. Please stay safe through the festive season. Please uh, enjoy a little tipple every now and again, but party and be nice about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And appreciate you for having us on again. Seriously, we love you guys. You guys literally have supported us from the beginning. Before this, like, you guys are the best. Well, we thank you. And believe me, Jack, and I've got to be honest with you, uh, not only prior to uh, this particular band with Georgie, uh, we, we had a really, really healthy relationship with the Wolves, if yeah. you know what I mean. And this yeah, one... This one is moving on leaps and bounds. It really, really is. And you're gathering a huge fan base through us anyway uh, that we can yeah. tell. So please keep up the good work, won't you? Absolutely. No choice. It's been a pleasure. Always. <laughs> Georgie, we love you. We really, really do. Please stay safe yeah. over the festive season and uh, party. Have a good time. Uh, but don't drive, right? Peace and love, New Zealand. Love you guys. Thank you, Galaxy 107. Thank you guys for everything you do. Absolutely. Let's rock and roll. Can't wait to see you guys again. Absolutely. Hang in there, guys. We're going to do a couple of backstage things, as you know. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. If you're going to be joining us a little later on over on YouTube, don't forget, sub, thumb, bell, bingo. And let me tell you how happy we are. <laughs> how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV. Big record, Sony Music, The Orchard, right here with Galaxy. Another Indy Artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music Deal Watcher.